Hey family, hey family, welcome or welcome back to Tasha's Where I am Tasha. So yesterday was my mom anniversary. She been gone for three years. So my baby decided to surprise me to dinner and this show right here. I was so excited. She's the best. That little bit that I just did, that little bit of dancing. I have officially outdanced Rihanna at the Super Bowl. <laughs> That bitch April fooled us, didn't she? We didn't give a fuck she was pregnant. We thought she was gonna pussy pop. She praised dancing right there. We was drunk, full of chicken wings, thought we was getting ready to get down. She came out there with that bullshit. At one point, she was so motherfucking lazy. Did y'all see when she turned around and physically lift her cheek up? I was like, now bitch, you ain't had to do that, man. That just, that just was some lazy shit. I can't dance and I don't do no lazy shit like that. We didn't give a fuck that she was pregnant. I knew the, I knew the performance was gonna be different anyway. Cause most artists, when they come out and they doing the Super Bowl, you know, thing, they doing the Super Bowl halftime, they get, get into the shit and start changing clothes. That bitch ain't changed clothes. Y'all know that she start putting shit on. <laughs> By the end of the performance, this bitch had on a ski coat in Arizona. Yeah. I said, yeah, this is some way different shit tonight. Some way different shit. New York City, how y'all feeling tonight? Y'all feeling good? Y'all please give it up for my man Ray Dijon for holding it down. That was some fly shit. He had y'all singing and every fucking thing. I love that. Listen, I have traveled all over the country this year. I am currently on a tour, it's called the Royal Comedy Tour. Kicked this bitch off in January. I have been to Los Angeles, California. I performed in Rochester, New York last night. I've been to Boston, Massachusetts. I've been in Chicago. But tonight, I'm in New York City. And this is big shit. This is the April Fool's Comedy Festival. And the one thing that I like and I love about this show, each and every artist tonight... Ben, 72% fuck out of here. It's bullshit. We all cheat the same. Men just get caught more. Because our team is weak. It's too easy to catch us. It's too easy. You want to catch a man cheating, call his best friend. That's how easy it is. Just call his best friend. Because this nigga ain't ready. He gonna give up too much information. You see, motherfucker, like you see the no, I ain't see all week. Really, he said he was with you. You going bowling? I never go bowling. <laughs> Thank you, idiot. Boom, you busted, my dude. Try to catch a girl with the same technique. Never happened. Call her best friend if you want to. You can call her best friend. First of all, <laughs> this bitch been waiting for this call. <laughs> <laughs> she practiced on Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> Bitch on point, she knows the assignment. You'll never catch her. Brrr, you seen Teresa? Yeah. Hold on, we playing cards. Hold on, click, hang up on your ass. Call Teresa. He looking for you, bitch. <laughs> Teresa call you back before you click over. What, nigga? I'm playing cards. <laughs> Like, you know what? She did say that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You need me to cash out you. <laughs> Peace, New York. Let's go. I'm scared of young people nowadays. Well, not really scared of them. It's just, you gotta, you gotta know them. First of all, they're very different than when we were growing up. Especially the women. The women, listen, the women are totally different. You heard the little rapper, uh, Young Miami, about a month ago, came out and said, she like when men piss on her. And I'm sitting there thinking like, bitch, when was you when R. Kelly was baptized? <laughs> piss on me. Let me tell you something, as a grown ass woman, niggas don't drink enough water to piss on me, fuck that. A nigga piss on you, you wake up with scoliosis and shit, and now they running your family. You like, the fuck, I get this shit.
Oh, uh, they different. They different. And because I don't have kids, one thing I make sure I know is how to communicate with them. I know how to speak their lingo. And like I said, I don't have kids, so really my only interaction with them is going through the drive-thru. Now, if you my age, I'm going to tell you how to go through the drive-thru and be successful. First of all, don't go through that bitch with your church talk. Hello. Don't do that. You're going to disrespect the fuck out of you. Don't do that. This is exactly what you do. When it's your turn, your car pull up. Before you say anything, this is the first thing out your mouth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Now when you say yep, that means whatever the fuck you want, I'm on the same shit you want. I mean, if you got a motherfucking attitude when you come to this window, bitch, I got an attitude. So you let them know, bitch, I'm on whatever the fuck you want. So first out the gate, yep, and they gonna come on, right? You order your shit, and the minute they don't have something you want, you holler out, the fuck? <laughs> if this is yep. the fuck, and let a bitch know I'm upset. <laughs> right? Then after you then after they don't have what the fuck you want, you holler out the fuck. Then they have something else you don't want. You say, man, this shit is weird. This is the third time this week I came here and the ice cream machine ain't working. This is some bullshit. <laughs> then they gonna come back and say no. No, bro, what's weird is that you've been here three times this week, yo. <laughs> and then you lean back and go, big facts, big facts, big facts, big facts. I'm telling you, simple shit to get through with them. Because them motherfuckers, listen, first of all, they don't give a show called Laughaholics. Make some noise right now for your man, I'm happy to be older now. I was in denial for years. I didn't want to be taken out of the show business. I was in denial, I used to practice my date of birth, but I said, fuck that. My nigga said, Ray, you know how many discounts and benefits you get being an old nigga? I tried that shit one day. I went to Foot Locker to buy the shell top Adidas, put them on the counter. They said $79.99. I said, hold on a second. I got a couple of things I need to show you, nigga. Pulled out my platinum AARP card. <laughs> I pulled out my Uber Accessoride membership. Pulled out my life alert button. I said, how much for the sneakers? They said, nigga, we owe you 23 man. <laughs> Fuck out the store. I'm an old school nigga from Brooklyn, New York, where Easter Sunday was the biggest holiday. I'm gonna give you an example. Listen to my first one, quick. card and hope you don't say nothing. Did you find everything? I did. <laughs> yeah, you stole it and in your pocket. You go outside, sir, the bottom of your cart. Oh, she ain't charged me? Okay, I'll go back in there. But if I get outside, you don't say shit? <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> like, she don't be right behind me. Hey, what'd you get home? <laughs> At least when black people steal something, we steal something we can use. I asked questions. I had an uncle, one of his legs was shorter than the other. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, that tall ass Herman of the shoe, you know what I'm talking about. My aunt told me, your uncle's coming over here, you better not say shit about that shoe, you understand? I said, yes ma'am, I ain't gonna say that. I didn't say nothing, as soon as he came through, I was staring at that bubble. He always had an attitude, what the hell are you looking at? I said, I ain't looking at your big ass shoe. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Now, fellas, I want y'all to listen to me. Fellas, listen to me. I've been studying women I have not figured them out. But what I have studied about a woman is true. Okay, y'all. My video came to an end. I'm sorry I didn't give y'all dinner. But I was like in the moment because she really surprised me with dinner and that comedy show. It was really good. I really appreciate it. So I want to thank her for that. Um, I want to thank y'all for liking my videos, coming back, watching. Whoever's new here, go like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. You might as well stop playing with me. Get over here. But yeah, I'm out of here. Love y'all. Peace.